Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm an exhibition project coordinator at the Royal Collection Trust in London. In this role, I'm responsible for project managing temporary art exhibitions at the Royal Collection's two galleries, one in London next to Buckingham Palace and the other in Edinburgh. Um, the day-to-day -day activity for this role is really varied. Some days I might be working on organisational tasks like planning transportation of objects um, or planning project timelines. Um, others I might be working with a designer or a conservator to come up with the best and the safest way to display an object. Um, and others I might be working directly in the gallery with art handlers on an installation or a deinstallation. And so I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about my background and how I came to do this role um, in case it's useful for any of you that might be interested in pursuing a career in museums or galleries in the future. So I grew up in Norfolk, um, about 20 minutes north of Norwich city centre and moved away for university. So I went to the University of Warwick in the Midlands to study history of art. Um, I think that I decided to move away because I was ready to live away from home for the first time, to have a bit more independence. And Warwick was a really good um, balance for me because it was a small campus university. So having come from a small city, it really suited me. And ultimately um, Warwick was the best university for me for the course that I wanted to do. So um, that was the reason that I decided to um, move away. Originally, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after university, so um, I'd studied quite varied A-levels um, and I'd always loved uh, practical art, but history of art as a course hadn't been offered at my school, so I wasn't really aware of it until um, I started to apply for universities. So I'd always recommend um, getting lots of different prospectuses, um, looking online to check out all of the different courses that are on offer, because it may well be that some of them you haven't come across before and those might be the ones that excite you the most and um, for me that was definitely the case with the course at Warwick. Finally, the advice that I would offer to anyone who was thinking about a career in museums or in exhibitions in particular would be to try and get some work experience um, whilst you're at university during term time or um, in the school holidays and um, ideally that would be in a museum or a gallery to give you that really relevant experience but if that's not possible then working in your local cafe or an office would also give you some really invaluable skills that are transferable and would still be recognised by um, any employer um, in a museum or gallery as well and if you can't get the really relevant experience then doing other things to demonstrate your interest in the sector is really valuable too. So going to exhibitions in your spare time, um, reading blog posts and books um, and keeping notes on your favourite artworks. Those are all really important to show um, employers that you're dedicated to the sector because it can be a very competitive industry and sometimes quite tricky to get into. So having some experience and knowledge to help set you apart from other candidates um, will be really, really important. And so, yeah, thank you very much for listening and I hope you found this useful.